Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how we can change the display settings in ServiceNow. Means, how we can organize the forms, change the list and field display, how we can display the help icons on the forms, how we can display the navigation on every page, means the banner frame on every page, how we can change the settings for related list, means when should the related list must be displayed, how we can change the date and time format in ServiceNow. So we are going to see all of these things in this video. So keep watching the video till the end. To open the display settings, you have to click on profile icon, then click on preferences and you will see a model box will display. Here you can see the display settings. Let's open the display settings. Inside the display settings, you can see there are various actions available. So let's focus on those icons. With the icons, it is pretty much clear that what these particular actions will do. Okay, so if you look at the first one, you can see that it's telling that the form will be more organized. The form sections and the related list will be converted into tabs. Okay, in the second one, you can see if you want to put the line breaks in the list or not, your list is going to look like this. In the third one, you can see that they are telling the space of the text box will decrease. In the fourth one, you can see that this eye icon will display for every field in which there is a help available. If you enable this property, then the navigation means the banner frame will be available at the top and you can navigate with the help of banner frame. Plus, you can also change the date and time format from here, time zone from here. You can also choose when the related list must appear on the form. Means whether the related list appear with the form or after the form loads or on demand. Okay. Let's take an example of these form section, line breaks, use compact spacing, so help and navigation. So if we disable this and we close this, now let's see how the forms will look. So we are going to click all, write incident dot list. And we are going to open one of the form. So you can see that if we scroll down, the form section like notes, related records, resolution information are expanded. They are not in a particular tab format. Okay, related links also expanded. Tax SLA, affected CI, impacted services and CIs, child incidents, all are expanded. Now we are going to enable that property and see what will happen. Go to the preferences display and enable this. Now, as soon as we enable it, you can see that it's asynchronous and automatically when we enable it, our form without lagging, it changes. Now you can see that all the form sections and related lists are in tab format. We can scroll down and see notes, related records, resolution information. They all are in tab format. And also the related list, tax, SLA, affected CIs, impacted services and CIs and child incidents, all are in tab format. So with the help of this, we can organize our form. Next is that was the list. So we have disabled that and you can see that our list is a compact list. So there are less spaces in the list, means there are no break lines. And once we enable it, watch very closely because it's in sync. So when we enable it, you can see that there will be a gaps. See? So with the help of this particular action, you can change the display of the list. Next. Use compact spacing mode. So what it does is that this is the box and it's going to reduce the spacing once we enable it. For example, you can see here also at the top where the choice is selected with the form, you will see the space will reduce and in this time zone also in date time format also. So it's going to happen all over wherever these boxes will appear. So once we enable it, watch it very closely what will happen. Did you see that? 
the space between the box and the content reduces. With the help of this section, you can use compact spacing mode. For now, we are going to just disable it. Next, show help tips on forms. So if a field has a help, then that particular eye icon will always appear if we enable it. For example, if we open the incident form, you can see right now there is no eye icon available. But if you want to display the eye icon so that the user can get the information of that particular field on the form, then you can go to the preferences, go to the display settings and just enable this and close this. And you can see that in the fields which have the help text, the help icons had appeared for those. So you can see the caller has help icon, the category has help icon. Like this, the configuration item has help icon, sort description has help icon. Okay, but this will only display when the field contains the help text, else it will not display. Next, if you want that the banner frame must be available at the top, then you can enable this action. Right now what happens is that this particular action is not enabled. So if we open the incident form or incident list, then see that the banner frame will not be available at the top. So incident form and all incidents. You can see that the banner frame is not available just like it's available here. So whenever you open the incident form or incident list or any applications form or list in a new window, you will not see the banner frame at the top. But you can make it enable. We can, firstly, we have to close this and go to the preferences, display and enable this action to show the navigation at the top. Close this. And now we are going to open that incident form and list again. Let it open. So you can see the incident form has been opened in a new window and our navigation or the banner frame is available at the top and you can navigate with the help of this. And similarly for the incident list, which are open in a new window, you can see that the navigation or the banner frame is available at the top and you can navigate from here. Okay, so that is the use of that particular action. All right, so we have completed all the actions of display settings. So this was the end of the video. If you have any suggestions or feedbacks regarding the videos, then do write it down in a comment. Until then, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.